David Marquet, author of Turn the Ship Around. I called it the number one business book in 2012, and I'm not alone. 1-800-CEO-READ, put it in the top five of all leadership books, yeah. sound review. Why is this book uh, caught such the attention of everyone? I think there are a couple of things, uh, Vern. First, it's a true story. It's not some made up, anything can happen fiction. It's a true story, real people. I use real names in the book. And, and I, I, I wrote the book four times. It was no good. And when I finally got vulnerable and exposed what I was thinking, uh, it, it, it sort of came together. The second thing is it's very practical. At the end of the book, you know exactly what we did, you know what worked, what didn't work. And it's stuff you can go and you can do it at home with your family. You can do it in your business. Um, my email's in the book. And if you do, let me know how it comes out. I'd love to hear the stories. Yeah. And what you did is you took the worst submarine and you made it first. Yeah. yeah. And it was with a group of people that you couldn't fire. Couldn't fire, couldn't hire, couldn't change the pay scale. Uh, so that tends to focus the mind on what you can change. And one of the things you can change is the way people just talk to each other. Yes. And so I call it going from taking control and attracting followers to giving control. It was the hardest thing. Physically, it's very easy. I can say, no, you're in charge of this. Yeah. But emotionally, um, I was conditioned as a leader. That's, you know, the leader is the one who stands tall and gives the orders. And I found that that really limits the thinking. If you want people to do, good. If you want people to think, not so good. And at the end of the day, it's about every organization moving from one leader, and in your case, 135 followers right, or something, right. to 136 leaders. Correct. Right. That's, so that's why I call it leader, leader, to really sort of put it as opposed to leader, follower. Yeah. This idea that we have followers, yeah. the problem is not that we're following. The problem is when I say, you follow me and he follows you. The, so what you want is we follow the principles of the organization. We together. We have role differentiation because there's you know, hierarchy and you can make different decisions than I can, but it's not a personality thing. It's a principle thing. Yeah, and so all those details are in the book. What yeah. I love is, is, like you said, it's very practical on how you made this fundamental shift. And I believe after hearing you speak, we can do it in every organization I think in the we world. Can. Yeah. Thank you, David. Thank you, Vern. You bet.